Now this video is for absolute beginners, so if you've never had a MetaQuest 3 before or any type of MetaQuest before and you're starting from scratch, so we will be creating an account. We will be doing everything from scratch, so let's get started. All right, so let's just start off with the basics. So right here on the right hand side, you're gonna see the audio jack. This is where it's located. If we take a look at the other side, on the other hand, this is your power button. So this right here, power button, just hold on to it until it turns on. Up here, you're gonna see USB-C. So this is where you would charge your MetaQuest. See the cable that came with your MetaQuest? You would plug that in right here, and then this part over here, that would go into your brick. And then you can go ahead and plug this into your wall and your MetaQuest will start charging. So that's how you guys can charge your MetaQuest. Now down here below, you're gonna notice this and this. This is for your volume. So all you have to do is do this to bring it up, bring it down like so, and just press it side from side and you're gonna see that one brings it up and one brings it low. So if you want more volume, just bring it up like so, or bring it down just by pressing here. Now this area, this right here is your wheel, it's for your lens spacing wheel. So if you guys had a MetaQuest 2 before, you would have had this kind of in the middle. So it would have been different. MetaQuest 3 is different. So all you have to do is just move it side to side. That's the wheel. And then you're gonna notice your lens will change. Obviously when you're changing this, you should be wearing your MetaQuest in order to get the right amount that you need for your case. Because everybody's gonna be a little bit different. As long as you guys get the spacing right, it should not be blurry. Now something else, now that we're taking a look at that, in here, you're gonna notice these buttons. So there's a button there, a button there, and those are your buttons for your depth adjustment. So what you have to do is just press them. So I'm pressing on this one, pressing on that one, press them both, and then you kind of like lift this up in order to get more spacing. So let me just show you. Now remember when you're adjusting these, so you're pressing those buttons. You can move this up just to get it out of your way. So just like so, you can move this up so that way. And then you guys will have more freedom to press these buttons and then just move it up or down, depending what is best for you. So a quick tip is to take a look here. You guys will see that white dot. That means that I have it set up there. It could be all the way down. So again, press on it. And yeah, it's kind of tough. It's not the easiest thing but you're supposed to see this sliding up and down. So let me just show you. I'm trying to get that on camera. So if I press on those buttons, I can slide it down. And now it's on the second. See that? So that's way, that way I adjusted this. And then all the way down is right here. That's something you're gonna have to adjust as you put it on. So you put it on, you adjust it, you put it on again, you adjust it, and then you see what's best for you. But you guys will be able to see that. Now this part, uh, so when some people pull this out, you're gonna see that you tend to pull everything out. You don't want that. You want to just slide this up. So you press on it, just slide it up with your fingers. So right here, put your finger and slide it up. So this stays attached, but this is sliding up. So as you guys can see, I moved it all the way up. And I can move it all the way down. And just get that on camera a little bit better. It's kind of hard to record this, but you guys can hear those clickings and it went all the way down. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be like that. You guys can just go halfway. Depends on your own settings, but that's how you would do that. Now it's the same thing when we're doing the lens spacing, this wheel. You wanna move this left and right while you have it on in order to get that right for you. So that's how you guys can fix it when it's blurry. The first thing you wanna do is adjust this plus adjust this height and then you should be okay. As far as this goes, you guys can place it like so or up, it depends. Again, that's your own comfort level. Most of you will have it back here. And now let's get on to the controllers so you guys know how that works. So the controllers, to activate them, we'd have to pull this out and that way the battery will touch and it's gonna start working. Now, let's say you guys wanna change the batteries. So the batteries are no good that came with this, which is very unlikely, but can happen. To change the batteries from the MetaQuest 3, it's all about this button up here. So I'm gonna try to get a close up so you guys can see how to change the battery or just at least look at your battery. See this up here? That's the button to release this door. And that releases this door. So that's where the battery's at. And you guys can go ahead 
and just take out that battery and put a new one. As uh, so you guys may notice, this is when it's brand new. It has that. So that way when you pull it, it makes that contact and then it just turns on. So I'm not gonna pull that right now, although we will be doing that in a second. I just wanted to show you guys how you guys can take this out. Um, but to activate it, you just pull this out. But to take out the battery or change it, that's how you guys do it. And then we just put this back like so. Once you align it, go ahead and push it up. It's gonna click in. But this is a button. You just press on it to release and that should open up. Let me just show you that with the other one. Again, you just press this button and that makes this release. I'm gonna put it back and there we go. So that's how you guys can activate these guys and uh, just pull this to activate it, change your battery. You just have to press there and then just change the battery. Now, since we're talking about the controller itself, not everybody uses this, especially if you get other accessories, you might want to take this out. It's very easy to take out and it does include you pressing this button to release the battery. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna release the battery. And down here below, you're gonna notice that if you take this to the side, it comes off that easy. Then you can just put this back on. Let me just show you. Slide it up. And there you go. You just took this out. You can put it back in at any time. Just by pressing this button again, you slide it back in like so. So right here, see how that slid in? You put this there, slide it up as well, and you're done. So that's how you guys can take this off or install it again. All right, so on the box itself, the one that you open to get all your stuff, you should see this. Just scan it with your iPad, iPhone, whatever phone you guys have, or whatever tablet, you can use that to scan this and then you can just get started with the whole setup process. Now to turn on your MetaQuest for the first time, and uh, before we turn it on actually, we should take these off because you don't need them. These are very important to have them on as you're adjusting everything, but you can't really adjust everything. As you have to take those off because that's when you guys can go ahead and adjust with this and maybe even this, move it up or down depending uh, what's more comfortable for you. Most of you will just keep it as is, and then you will be moving this so it's not blurry. But to turn this on, you do have to press the power button. So that's on the left-hand side. You just have to hold on it for two seconds. Just hold on to it. And from there, this should be turning on. Now you can, you can go ahead and wear it. If you put this on right now, you should see the Meta Quest icon. So their logo in the middle, you should hear that sound that I just, that we just heard right now. And again, if you have this on your head right now, it's gonna ask you to activate your controllers. You need your controllers to be active. So in order to activate your controllers for the very first time, we have to just take this out. So that way the battery is all hooked up and same goes with this controller. Take this out. You should be able to feel a slight vibration from your controller that indicates that it's powered on. Now this one's from my left, this one's from my right, but on your MetaQuest, it's gonna tell you which one's switch, so you don't get them confused. Because yes, you could technically hold on with your left, this one, but it won't feel comfortable. But if you hold on to this one, then you'll notice that it's all comfortable. You can finally have access to both of these two main buttons here, and then access to everything else as well. So for the rest of the setup, it's all done within your Oculus. But before I keep going with that, I just wanna show you this right here. You guys can adjust this to make it tighter. So you can just do that and then just pull on it. And there you go, it's gonna be tighter. So you don't want this to be too loose or else it's gonna get a little bit blurry. Now this, same thing, to make it tighter, just pull it to the sides, it's gonna be tighter. Or if it's too tight, just keep pulling it towards the middle and that's how you guys can adjust this so it fits really well on your head. Again, you have to be wearing it in order to make these adjustments so they make sense to you. So if you have this on, it's gonna ask you to select your language. All right guys, so let's just get started. Go into your app store and you're gonna download this app called MetaQuest. From here, just look it up in your app store. It doesn't matter if you guys are on your phone or tablet, just download the app. I'm only showing you my tablet just because it's bigger, easier to see. So you're gonna open up the app called MetaQuest. Once you do so, I would suggest is not continue with email or even with your Instagram. And if you don't have a Facebook account, create one. If you have one, you wanna keep it more private and that's why you don't wanna use it. I would just suggest creating another one. So that way you can just use that one for your MetaQuest. This is just to avoid any problems. Trust me, just use Facebook. 
So go on and choose your first option. Once you do that, you're gonna see this. Just click on continue. Then it's gonna ask you to create a new MetaQuest account. Once you click on create new account, you're gonna see this. So just go on and click on yes and confirm here. It's gonna ask you which email you wanna use. So we're definitely gonna go on and use the email from our Facebook account. So just tap on the first option, then tap on next. From here, just tap on create account and change anything that you need to change. From here, you're gonna see this. Just going to next, username. Then from here, it's gonna ask you to create a username. So just scroll down a little bit and put in your name. This is the name that you want people to see you with. And then we can just choose a username down here below. Once you do that, just tap on next. And from here, you're gonna see this message. Just tap on continue as whatever name you guys chose. From here, it's gonna load up. All right, so next up, you're gonna see this. So you can choose to share or not share. We're just gonna choose to share in this case. And right now, we're gonna be pairing with the MetaQuest 3. So tap on the first one. So if you put on your headset right now and you continue on with the whole setup, it's gonna give you a code. So you can scan, by the way, you can use a QR code to scan this app, or you can go out and enter Wi-Fi details on your headset. So right now, we're gonna put that we already connected our headset to our Wi-Fi. So that's the option down here below. Right now you can choose which horizon profile would you want. We're gonna put it as public, confirm. These are things that you're gonna share. We're gonna accept and continue. Then from here, just tap on next in the bottom. We're gonna put in not now at the moment, and we're gonna create a MetaQuest pin. This has to be four digits, and it can be really easy or really hard, whatever you guys want. Tap on next after you do that, and it's gonna look for your headset. So right now, put on your headset, and you're gonna see five digit code. Um, for some of you, if you haven't turned it on, make sure to turn it on. Once you turn it on, again, you're gonna see that five digit code as you go on with the whole setup. It might ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. Um, maybe not, maybe you guys did the scanning thing, so you're good to go. But you should see that once you put on your headset. For some of you, and actually most of you, it's gonna download some software updates. So you see those lights are turned on, and you see the fact that you might not be able to connect. It's because it's doing that. It's downloading those updates. Once that's done, we can continue on. So it's okay if you don't see those codes right away and it's just not hooking up just let it download and you can only see that if you're wearing your headset by the way you're going to notice that all the way on the top just look up a little bit you're going to see that it's downloading updates now since your MetaQuest is doing an update it's recommended to charge it up even if the battery is okay it's a brand new headset so that's why we have to plug it in especially when running any updates so make sure to plug it in some electricity so that way you can just charge it up and once it's done with the update, it's gonna play a sound anyways. So you don't need to wear your headset at this point since it's running that update. So we're just gonna plug it in and then it's gonna charge up. So now my headset is hooked up some electricity. So how do I know my headset's charging? Well, usually you should see a light here unless your headset is restarting right now because the update, it's okay if you don't see a light right away, but you should technically should see a light right here. That would mean that it's, it's charging and everything's working like it should. So there's a lot of updates happening at this point, which is a good thing. And you might notice that you got something here, a screen saying that it's updating your controllers now. That's okay. You want everything to be updated so everything works properly. Just don't touch anything for the meanwhile. So usually this would ask you to put in a code that you see on your headset. For others, it's just gonna go right away and detect the code by itself. And all you have to do is just untap on allow we're gonna tap on allow, headset paired, and that's it. So again, some of you might even see the, the code, but you won't have to type it in. Others might have to type it in. It's fine either way. Usually if you're hooked up to internet, you're in the same Wi-Fi thing, then it should pair by itself without a need for a code. Although it might ask you for one anyways. So right now just tap on close, tap on allow, and you're all set. Right now, just go into your headset and just finish up with anything, download any apps that you guys want. You guys can download them from here. You guys can go into the store and download them from the app itself, but you can do it from your MetaQuest as well. At this point, I would say just go into your MetaQuest and just do everything from there. You don't need to do anything else from here, from within your app. All right, so at this point, you should see something like so if you're wearing your headset, just use this to point, so I'm using this right here you guys can see it and you just have to point at it then click 
and there you go just confirm your door your floor so you just do that by doing exactly what it tells you right there just pretty much touch the floor once you've done so press and confirm draw a boundary this is very important don't go too close to your walls or any furniture i would actually keep a good distance from your walls so at least 60 centimeters let's say once you've done so tap on confirm and there you go reset your view you can go ahead and reset it well it's going to teach you how to reset your view and all that stuff just continue on make sure since you're a new user to look at everything this is telling you so we're going to press that button right now and just follow throughout everything and you're going to see what it does and everything that it does all right now you're pretty much all set up right here you're going to see this um you can share or not share i'm going to choose to share and like I mentioned before, you can start downloading apps. You can do everything from within here. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to, for example, go into your app if you don't want to. Or you can just go into your app on your phone and you can finish anything from there that you want to do, like download any apps or anything like that. But again, from here, you guys can go on and do everything. Uh, each game will have basically a tutorial of how to play it because they're all a little bit different. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.